Hey guys, welcome back to Salty and Sweet. My name is Hermes. My name is Sarah. And today we are going to... Australia again! Yeah, this is Seuss Cruise part two. Seuss Cruise, Seuss Cruise. This is Seuss Cruise part two. Yes. Our friend Sue sent us the biggest package that we couldn't cover all of the snacks in one episode. So here we are with the remaining snacks. Yeah, and there's actually a lot less this time, so it'll be good for our tum tums. Yeah. And we'll get to enjoy it a lot more. Mm -hmm. We really loved the first round of snacks and we'll see if these live up to it too. Yeah, the expectations are high right now. Mm -hmm. So here we go. I like aeroplane jelly. Aeroplane jelly for me. <laughs> aeroplane jelly, strawberry jello. We didn't actually know anything about this, and I thought it was pretty funny that Sue's put a packet of jelly. Oh, sorry. We call it jello here in America. Um, in the box of snacks, because I would never think to send a box of Jello to anyone if I was explaining what U.S. snacks were, and I didn't actually ask her for the explanation on it. So, we looked it up, and we found that song. Apparently, it's a really old, famous jingle in Australia. From 1937. It's pretty catchy. Also creepy at the same time. Yeah, it's for <laughs> sure. Uh, okay, so I guess we're going to dig into this? Yeah, we're just going to take some spoonfuls. All right. I haven't had Jello. In I don't know how long. Well, look at this. I haven't had Jello in a long time either. But wow, I miss this. I miss this so much. Yeah. Look at it. It's it like, is so much better than those prepackaged Jello cups. Like the fresh Jello always was. It's like a jewel. It tastes just like Jello, I think. Maybe more of a strawberry flavor. I don't know if we bought strawberry Jello growing up or if we got cherry. Tastes delicious. Yeah. It's jelly and jello. Yeah, jelly. I need to stop calling it jello and call it like it is. Very good jelly. Yeah, timeless. Aeroplane jelly for me. We have our Knott's Iced Vovo Lamington. The new Nissan Vovo. Lamington? Lamington? I don't know. What is it? I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be a cake or a cookie. I think it's got like a strawberry jam in it and it might have coconut on the outside. That's crazy. Oh, it says it's a biscuit. I kind of thought it was going to be like a cake. I mean, it has a picture of a cake in the package, but. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, these are so pretty. That's cool. I like and that it's not a sandwich cookie. It gives you a different kind of ratio. It is cocoa nut. Cocoa nut. The chocolate and jam. Well, this actually isn't my favorite cookie. Really? No, I think that it's okay, but the flavor just was a little lost on me. I felt like it didn't, even though I just said that I loved that it wasn't a sandwich cookie, so it would have a different ratio. It just came through as like a sweet flavor. I didn't actually feel like I had too much of one flavor. Kind of a coconut, but not really. I like that the flavors are actually fighting against one another. It's mm. actually pretty good. I, I, I like this. I think it's delicious. Um, if there was less biscuit and more of the actual stuff that's on top, it might actually be a whole lot better. I'm gonna go decent. And this was the one that I was looking forward to mm. most in this pile. But I also thought it was gonna be like a cake inside. <laughs> it's your favorite. Hey, guess who's back? Uncle Toby. Uncle Toby's back. Look what he has here. He brought back a little snack for all the way from France. From France. Cheddar cheese dip and crackers. Oh, look at this. It looks like a Lunchable. I look love at it. Look at that bite. Give me one. <laughs> so is it just a cracker and butter? Cheese. It's cheddar cheese. Oh, I just said it. <laughs> well, people would just put butter in like a kid's thing. But you I don't know, know. Wait, did I think that's great. Did you have the ki sophisticated kids? Did you have the um, little snack packs when you were a kid? I think it was like Kraft, and it With had the sticks. yeah, the little red stick. Mm-hmm. The cheese was 
terrible, but oh, it's all I we can eat. Oh, I loved it, though. <laughs> Man, I thought it was so good then. I bet it does not hold up. This middle. is really good. <laughs> Way to go, Uncle Toby. Oh, this is great. Yeah. This is so much better than the G-Stick one. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm. This is very sophisticated kid I'm going to eat my whole little tray. This would be great to take on the plane. <laughs> These are really good. Wow. Uncle Toby. This is so delicious. Actually, you know what? You're a dangerous mite. Yeah. <laughs> this is so good. I love it. I don't know if I'm going dangerous just because like I'm kind of full off of it. Like I probably should not have eaten this whole thing. I mean, now. you ate the whole thing. It's dangerous. <laughs> okay, it's dangerous. I ate the whole thing. I love cheese and crackers. Oh, cheese and crackers. We're going to bite the bullet. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I was sitting on that one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we got bullets, milk, chocolate, licorice. You all know how we feel about licorice. From Dara Lee. Yeah, licorice isn't really our thing. Maybe one day we'll get used to it because everyone just keeps suggesting licorice to us. We just start dosing ourselves with licorice. So we yeah. eat like a little every day and then maybe we'll like it eventually. This is interesting is that how it though. Works? They're not really like bullets. They're more oh. like little vitamins. Wait, <laughs> these are bigger than I, I thought they were gonna be like good and plenty size. <laughs> little poopies. He's like, yeah, this is a little poopy. <laughs> You know what? It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. Remember the... The black cats. Black cats. Yeah. I feel like this is a little milder than black cats. The chocolate well, is a the, lot sweeter. I think the black cats were a little milder because they were what? more gummy. This is more of like a piece of licorice coated in chocolate. Yeah. Oh, I like this though. Yeah, this isn't bad. I'm still only going decent because... I don't need to eat more because I don't like licorice, but it's really not bad at all. I think other people would think it's delicious if you like licorice. I think it's delicious. Okay. Yeah, I actually think this is delicious. Okay, so this is either Milo or Milo. I don't know the actual pronunciation of it. Pronunciation? Pronunciation of it? Um, but I actually did have this as a kid. Uh, I didn't really use it to drink in hot chocolate or just chocolate milk in general, I would just eat it by the spoonful because it was wow. so good. But I've never had it before. Yeah, I mean, give it a shot. I haven't had it in a long time and I haven't had it in a long time as chocolate milk, so. So it says that you can drink it hot or cold in milk. We did cold because it's pretty hot outside today. And also, it says to mix it with skim milk. We only have almond milk that is toasted coconut flavored, so we're giving our own spin to it. I'm surprised this is from Australia because I thought this was Spanish. I think it's, I think everyone drinks it outside of America. America's missing out. What do we have, Ovaltine? Gross. It's tasty. It's not super chocolatey, but it might be the kind of thing where you need to figure out your own ratio. It just says a glass of milk. It doesn't tell you how much milk. A glass. Now, you're gonna try to eat it by a spoonful and you tell me what it tastes like. Okay. I like this that you great. open it like it's a can of paint. It is. It's painting your tummy with deliciousness. I mean, I'm gonna love this. Mm. Will it ice cream? Oh my God, we're absolutely making ice cream with this. Yeah. Well, but I think that you can't mix it in because it'll just make the no, whole it's, thing it's chocolate a on top. It's funny because it's like more crunchy pieces. It's not yep. powdery. It's not as powdery as chocolate milk. Yeah. That's why it's like much harder for it to dissolve in here because a lot of it is just chocolate chunks. It's almost like candy. It's like powdered candy. Wow, that is delicious. Yeah. It's like, does this have nutrients in it? I don't care. <laughs> well, I'm just curious. What is it? What is it? I don't know. It's Milo. This is delicious. I love Milo Milo. It's great. I'm going to give it a delicious. Milo Jojovic. Very delicious. Oh, yeah, Mai. You want to get twisted? Let's get twisted with some twisties, Mai. 
we have here it's Twisty's chicken. Life's pretty straight without Twisty's. You just ruined my thing, Mike. <laughs> I, I wasn't paying attention to him at all. Okay. <laughs> I just tune him out half the time. So we have Twisty's. I don't know what they are. I have Twisty's chicken. I guess it's. I mean, I there's no picture of anything in it, which I is have kind cheese. of a surprise. Well, I'm guessing it's gonna be like little potato starch twirls. Mmm. Potato starch twirls that we've had in Bangladesh mm -hmm. and another Netherlands? country. Oh uh, yeah, Netherlands. Oh, these are oh. not what I thought they were. They're it's always fun. Little Cheetos. Well mine is kind of more twisted than yours. Mine's giant compared to your little one. Yeah, they're Cheetos. Hold on, I have to sit with this for a bit. Because this is chicken flavored and I want to taste the chicken. Okay. Can I okay. take one of these? That's interesting. Oh, these are so much smaller than those, which is pretty funny. Right? This tastes like a bouillon cube. Yeah, I think it's a little bit saltier though than a bouillon mm -hmm. cube. It is a little saltier. I mean, I like this too. It's a different kind of cheese than Cheetos. Mm -hmm. It's a milder cheese than Cheetos, mm -hmm. but it's very good though. Like, cause sometimes the Cheetos cheese is a little too much, I think, mm -hmm. at least for me. Um, I like this a lot and I would say this would go dangerous as far as the Twisties chicken. For me, maybe delicious too dangerous because the chicken is good, but I guess it's just something that we're not used to. I think that they're both delicious. But you know what would be insanely dangerous is if Twisties teamed up with Shapes. We had the flavors from the Shapes crackers on these. Mm. Just saying. Yeah, that'd be cool. That was some of the best flavoring I think I've ever had. I really and like so, the Vegemite one from yeah, Australia. Yeah, the Vegemite one was like absolutely insane. So I kind of had really, really high expectations for these. And they're still delicious, but the flavors are, they're good. I love Violet Crumple. It's so good. I don't think I'm gonna explain anything to you. You so haven't had this is really one? for me. You haven't had it before. Never. Okay, then you're just gonna like, don't, I think just bite into it, maybe. It's huge. Oh, don't looks like a Snicker bar, thing. actually. Like a really long Snicker bar. Okay, here we go. I don't know, man. I think it's that. Is it butterscotch? I don't know. I think it looks like a honeycomb. I don't know. It has this like, yeah, it's like a butterscotch flavor that I'm not really into. And this is like everything to me. I love it so much. It's just the most interesting textures. The texture is good. And it's just like a honeycomb. Is it a honeycomb? I don't know. In my mind, it's honeycomb. I don't think it's honeycomb. Honeycombs don't taste like that. I'm a bear. I destroy honey. And I know what honeycombs taste like. It ain't that. I tell you that. I love the texture. As I ignore him. I'm in my happy place right now. It like melts in your... First it crunches. Then it melts and dissolves. And it melts deliciously with the chocolate inside. Just so good. They nailed it. I love it. It's it's okay with me. I. It's the way it shatters that matters. Well, I'm not really that into what you're into. Yeah, we're gonna really disagree on this. I'm going dangerous because I love it. I'm gonna go decent because it's okay. Your colors are really showing today. <laughs> Caramello Koala. I haven't had this. I think it's gonna be a koala that's filled with caramel. Oh, I love Cadbury. It is a koala. Aww. It's a koala filled with caramel, but someone slit its throat and all the all the caramel's leaking out. Look at him. Like, but I'm still so happy. Eat me, Molly. <laughs> Here. It's Cadbury. Yeah, it's delicious. It's delicioso. I would say this is delicious. Yeah. They know their chocolate, they know their caramel, 
you know, their Cadbury. It's very cute. It's a koala. What kind of monster would eat a koala kid? Hmm. I don't do that. These have so much writing on them. Yeah, there's a lot of hype on this. Compared to Tim Tams, now we have Arnott's. What is that? Caramel crowns. Caramel crowns. This should be royalty. Yeah. We, this disappoints. We Hands loved off. the Tim Tams. Mm-hmm. Loved it. We loved it so much. Steve loved it so much, too. He even bought himself some after the shoot. Yeah. Yeah, and we were like, oh, we just ran out. <laughs> Man, we need to fly, try the other Tim Tam flavors now. There are other flavors? Well, I think there's a dark chocolate. I don't know if there's other Tim Tams out there. No? We got to check it out, though. Just okay. to be sure. I do want to try the dark chocolate Tim Tams. I don't. <laughs> okay. I think this is going to be good. Oh, God. I put way too much on it. This better be good. Oh, my. Oh my, this is good. It's dangerous. Mm. The only thing is that they're very filling and rich. I couldn't eat as many of these as I could eat of Tim Tams. You're crazy. This is fantastic. I love so it. Good. It's dangerous. Oh my God. So you roll. Tim Tams? This is great. This, Tim Tams, everything, oh. Uh, we didn't love the Vovo. His royalty. Royalty right there. Don't even talk about Vovo. Just let this be all about the caramel crown. Mm-hmm. Enjoy this. I'm so glad we ended with this. Yeah. I, want, I do want to know what else Arnott's has. Like, what other cookies are we missing out on? Don't think about it yet. Think about this. Live in this moment. I want to know if these come with peanut butter. <laughs> The Seuss Cruise treated us well. I'm still like living in the caramel crowns right now. I can't escape it. It's still lingering in my mouth. I loved it so much. I think this whole episode was worth it for just that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think that those were amazing. I'm still just obsessed with my uh, Violet Crumble. Bah. I love them. I'm, I'm definitely, I enjoyed this. I enjoyed this a lot. Yeah. I think that our, our whole Sue's Cruise journey was a big success. It was. I hope it was success. But it was. I hope it was success. It was. I hope it was success. To nope. <laughs> <laughs> it was. He's broken. He's broken. <laughs> it was. I hope it was also a success to Sue's as well. Thank you so much, Sue's, for sending us curated snack pack you could go into a business of it I'm sure It'd be great yeah and with all that said take it away friend and bon voyage <laughs> <laughs> yeah. good day thanks for watching salty and sweet don't forget to like and subscribe and ring that bell for notifications